Hello, my name is Emma Mitchell and today I'm going to be talking about computers. Computers have been a crucial player in the modern development of human life as we know it today, and I'd like to talk about why. Why computers are so amazing. Have you ever just picked up your phone and looked at it for no apparent reason, or googled something in the blink of an eye like that? Now you may be wondering why I'm talking about these things just because they are so mundane to our day, in our day to day lives. Well, that, you see, that's exactly why I'd like to talk about them today, because I believe we sometimes forget how amazing computers truly are. Can you think about the very first computer that was ever made? Now, some of you may be thinking about the ginormous NASA computers that we used, that America used in, in the 1960s to get to the moon. Others of you may be thinking about the Enigma machines made by the Germans in World War II to hide messages from the Allies. But the real in the know of you will be thinking about this. This is called the Difference Machine. It was made by Charles Babbage in Charles Babbage in 1822 and was the very first calculator and computer ever made. Computers have connected us all. They, cha they have changed how we gather information and accomplish our goals, with whether we're in a group or with multiple other people. Um, we. This is why I believe that they are that they, it is so important for us to learn more about them just because they are a ginormous facet of our day-to-day -day lives today. Knowing something that is so, uh, cr so influential in our lives is powerful, and knowledge is power, so we should all take the time to learn more. So listen to what I have to say today. Now, it is no surprise that many people have uh, computers, and a lot of those are just only an arm's reach away. According to this quote by the Pew Research Center, after a survey they've done, they say, Today it is estimated that more than 5 billion people have mobile devices, and over half of the, these connections are smartphones. Computers have also played a major part in the business world. This is a quote from uh, Brisbane, uh, basically about focusing a lot on the 1980s and the 1990s when computers first entered the workplace as a op as a way to help um, businesses do things more efficiently. So it changed how they managed their work and produced things. Um, soon after some computers became available to the companies, the company started to allocate funds for the for people to learn more about the computers and so that they could become more well-versed in them to help the company. Computers have also played a big part in our cultures too. Everybody in my generation has a computer story. My story, my first computer looked a lot like this. This is a 2004 desktop computer. I remember my first favorite application on this computer was actually the PowerPoint function because I loved making collages and about things that I liked, like like uh, the seasons and other things like that. I remember calling my mom into the room all the time, trying to make her spell things, and I'm sure she got really annoyed with that, but it is one of my fondest memories as a child with computers. <coughs> computers have also played a major part in our movies and shows. The, here are some examples of movies, or computers and shows and movies. So you have Gem Gemini Holograms, Ex Machina, and you have Tron. All of these have uh, computers in them. Um, computers have also played a major part in our music today. They've changed genres and even made entirely new genres, like for example, rock and hip hop and techno. These are all uh, would not these music genres would not be possible without the invention of computers. Computers also have many economic benefits other than in the workplace. They, uh, this is a quote from Wikibooks talking about how computer systems are a part of our lives. Computers benefit the business and personal world by being able to do the following more efficiently. Buying and selling products, communicating throughout the world, enhancing our knowledge, job influences, entertainment, research, and paying the bills. Computers have also have a major... Computers and machines also are a big part of our lives too. The marriage of computers and machines is called robotics. Now, many people are afraid of robotics because they focus on all the things that could go wrong. But today, I want to focus on all the things that could go right. Like, for example, 3D printers. This is a quote from The Social Good. 
it says, as this technology spreads, it could help connect marginalized and difficult to reach populations with essential products. All in all, this emerging technology has the potential to revolutionize our societies and, tra and transform the development sector. In conclusion, computers have played a, been a major player in the modern development of human, humans, human lifestyle today. Computers are a part of us. They're a part of our personal and our work lives. They're a part of our past, part of our present, and a part of our future. They are here to stay, for better or for worse. As technology becomes more prevalent in our day-to-day -day lives, we need to take the time to learn more about it, because that, that would be in the, our best interest. I encourage you to learn more about this after this talk, just to better yourselves and better the world around you. This is a quote by... This is a quote by Neil deGrasse Tyson, just basically talking about innovation in our society and how it would be beneficial uh, and how it could really change how we face the world. So he says, once you have an innovation culture, even those who are not scientists or engineers, poets, actors, journalists, they as communities embrace the meaning of what it is to be scientifically literate. They embrace the concepts of an innovation culture. They vote in ways that promote it. They don't fight science and they don't fight, fight technology. Thank you. Here are some websites that you might want to look at to learn more about computers.